stray down the slopes of the mountain towards the lake. And there at the water's end, he found a boat, rather curiously like his own. He stepped in, he pushed off, and he rowed himself out onto that lake. At the bottom of the boat, there were nets. He took them, he cast them on the water. And when he drew them in, there wasn't a single fish. But unlike earlier, he found he didn't care. He cast them again. Again, the water streamed through the mesh. But he laughed. He remembered that he liked fishing. He loved fishing, even when there were no fish. <laughs> the third time, he cast the nets upon the water. And this time, he had to strain with every muscle in his body to heave three enormous golden fish. These are extraordinary. My wife will be pleased. And at the thought of that, he realised he'd been gone far longer than usual. It was time to get back. He brought the boat in, tied the fish up, swung them over his shoulder and set off up the slopes of the mountain. And when he found the dark tunnel, he crawled in, dragging the fish a little awkwardly behind him, back through the rock. When he emerged onto the ledge, he saw the dust was already gathering. He climbed down the cliff face, feeling all those little aches and wiggles return to his body. He got into his own boat and took it back across the great blue lake to the near shore, the familiar shore, and came home. But as he went in, he saw his wife was sitting by the embers of a fire. Her face was covered with her hands. And as she heard him, she jumped up and he saw that her eyes were red from weeping. Don't ever, ever do that to me again. What have I done? What have you done? You've been gone three days and three nights without a word. I was desperate. Three days and three nights? Is that the price I must pay for, for what I've seen? What have you seen? Where have you been? So he explained about his journey through the cliff, the glittering lake, the golden fish. Well, let's see these fish then. And he dragged them in. And when the fisherman's wife saw those fish, her eyes widened. Oh, husband, you have done well. These fish will make our fortune. Or oh, you must be tired. Come and have something to eat. And they ate, and they drank, and they lay down to sleep. And the fisherman, exhausted by the day's adventures, was soon snoring loud. And his wife curled up at his side, just glad not to be alone in the bed. There was once a king. Now, this isn't the old king or the young king. This is a third king. Can you come in with all this royalty? I hope so, because we've three more to meet before we're done. Off 
they run across the sea. <laughs> oh, that's quite good. Yellow, yellow, green card, green card, yellow card, green card, yellow card, green 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 card, green
Yeah. Uh-huh.